hospitals, both for kids and for adults, are very stressed right now. And it's, it's a combination of really of all these viruses. Lots of very sick patients, lots of patients on the ventilators and the ICU. Um, our overall hospital capacity is well over 100%. The triple demic of COVID flu and RSV is hitting Americans and filling hospitals as millions are expected to travel this holiday season. Infections are on the rise in many parts of the country. White House COVID response coordinator Dr. Ajish Jha joins me now to discuss the latest. Good to see you as always, Dr. Jha. Good morning, Martha. More than 40% increase since Thanksgiving in COVID cases and hospitalizations. That is a very big spike. It's a, it's a clear increase. It's a substantial increase. We're seeing it across 90% of the country. Uh, so, yeah, COVID cases are rising across the country right now. And, and there was a statistic that really stood out to me from, from your White House briefing. Less than half of nursing home residents have gotten their updated COVID, COVID vaccine, even though deaths are occurring mostly concentrated in people over 65. You say you're talking to leadership, trying to get them vaccinated. Why hasn't this been happening? Yeah, so, um, you know, there's people are still, I think, learning about the new COVID vaccine, the updated booster. There's still a lot of people are confused about whether they need one or not. We're being very clear about this. If you've not gotten a vaccine in the last six months, it is essential to go out and get the new updated uh, bivalent. Uh, this, is an ongo this is ongoing work, but I actually think we're seeing real increases in the last couple of weeks, and my hope is that that momentum continues. And, and why this 40% increase? Is it no masks? Is it no vaccines? What, what do you say about that? Well, so we're not totally surprised by this, right? Because we've seen increases each of the last two winters. And then what else is happening? In colder, uh, drier air, the virus spreads more efficiently. People are gathering, as they should, because it's really important to gather with family and friends. Um, and so that combination is what is driving the increase. The, the good news here is that we can prevent those infections from turning into serious illness if people go out and get that updated bivalent vaccine. The updated vaccine is essential for keeping people out of the hospital. So we're making the case that it's, we're at a point where it's safe to gather, but you still have things to do. If we don't do those things, Obviously, things can get much worse. Okay, Dr. Zhao, we've talked to you many times. You say the White House strategy is to get boosted, get tested, wear masks. You and I have both talked about the lack of masks across the country. You're just not seeing them. That's the strategy, but only 14% of people who can get that booster have done it. So how can you say that is really working? Well, what I would say is it is a, it is a comprehensive strategy, testing, treatment, uh, vaccines. Um, our job is to make sure those things are widely available, easily accessible. They remain free for Americans. We're going to continue making that case. And then obviously, a lot of our efforts are focused on older Americans. Those are the ones who really tend to get sick, end up in the hospital. Uh, this is ongoing work. It's shared collective responsibilities. It's not just the White House. We're asking governors to step up, mayors to step up, religious leaders to step up. Because if we're going to get a, a country as big and diverse as ours through this difficult period, we're all going to have to pull on this together. Well, according to a new poll from the Kaiser Family Foundation, the top two reasons people are not getting vaccinated are, number one, they don't think they need it or they don't think the benefit is worth it. Yeah, so first of all, from a benefit point of view, I mean, these are incredibly safe vaccines. They clearly work. Uh, they clearly reduce infections to some degree, hospitalizations and deaths to a very, very large degree. Um, you know, the, the thing I remind people, people often say, well, I got my booster last year. Do I really need it? And I say, well, I got my flu shot last year. I don't expect that to protect me this winter. I go out and get my flu shot every winter. And the same way people have to go out and get their COVID shot every winter. And I want to talk about some anecdotal evidence about the lack of medicines like children's Tylenol, amoxicillin. You say the supply is out there. Manufacturing is out there. And you're going to work to get that supply into pharmacies? How do you do that? Are people hoarding? No, so here's what's happening. Um, we constantly, FDA, uh, the health department, constantly track supply, making sure that manufacturing is going well, that the distribution is going well. Right now, manufacturing is going 24-7. Supply is good. Demand is unprecedented for all the reasons you laid out. We have more RSV, flu, COVID out there. So that demand, that increased demand, is what is causing, at moments, spot outages in certain places. Our job is to make sure that that supply continues, in fact, ramps up further, and that we get it into stores. 
that I am confident will continue to happen. The supply is really good. And the, and the thing is that we've seen RSVP can come down. My hope is with that, demand will ease up a little bit, and that'll also make a difference. And, and we're almost out of time, Dr. Zhao, but I want to talk about China. There's some very dire predictions that there could be one to two million deaths. Do you believe that will happen? Yeah, we, look, we're obviously uh, tracking what's happening in China very, very closely. Um, we've been very publicly clear, the president's been publicly clear, uh, that we are ready to help any country in the world that needs it with vaccines, treatments, whatever else is necessary. Um, so that offer stands generally for every country in the world. We're going to watch what happens in China closely. Okay, thanks very much for joining us today. Always good to see you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.